In this video, we will discuss an important topic in Odoo accounting whether to delete or deprecate a chart of accounts. This is crucial for maintaining financial integrity in your business. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Odoo tutorials. Why you should not delete an account in a production environment. When managing your accounting records in Odoo, you might come across a scenario where an account is no longer needed. The first instinct might be to delete it. However, in a production environment with real financial data, this is not recommended. Once an account is deleted, it removes all linked transactions, invoices, and reports, which can cause serious discrepancies in financial records. For example, imagine you have an expense account called Office Supplies, which contains transactions related to stationery and office materials. If you delete this account, all associated purchases and payments will be erased from your financial statements. This could lead to missing records when auditing expenses or filing tax reports. Instead of deleting, the best approach is to deprecate the account. What does it mean to deprecate an account in Odoo? Deprecating an account in Odoo marks it as inactive, preventing it from being used for future transactions. However, all historical transactions remain intact for reporting and auditing purposes. To deprecate an account, open the chart of accounts in Odoo. Select the account you want to deactivate. Check the Deprecated box. Click Save to apply the changes. Once an account is deprecated, it will still appear in historical reports, but users won't be able to select it for new transactions. For example, let's say your company used an old bank account that is no longer in service. Instead of deleting it, you deprecate it so that past financial reports still show transactions linked to that account, but new transactions can't be recorded there. How to view deprecated accounts in Odoo. By default, deprecated accounts will still be visible in the chart of accounts list. However, you can filter them out to keep your list cleaner. Go to the accounting module. Navigate to chart of accounts. Use the filters option and select active accounts to hide deprecated accounts. This ensures that outdated accounts don't clutter your list while still preserving financial data. When should you delete an account? There are very few cases where deleting an account is necessary. Deleting is only advisable if the account has no transactions linked to it. It was created by mistake and hasn't been used in financial reports. For example, you accidentally created a duplicate account called advertising expenses when a similar one already exists. Since no transactions were recorded, deleting it is safe. To delete an account, navigate to Chart of Accounts. Select the checkbox next to the account name. Click on Action and then Delete. You will see this message asking you to confirm your intention to delete. You can click OK to continue. If an account has recorded journal items, you'll see the following message. If an account is set as a default in the system, you'll see the following message. You'll need to deprecate the account instead. Warning, once deleted, the account and its transactions cannot be recovered. So always double check before proceeding. Key differences between deprecating and deleting an account. When managing your chart of accounts in Odoo, you need to decide whether to deprecate or delete an account. Let's break down the differences with real life examples to help you make the right choice. Impact on transactions. Deprecate. The account remains in your financial records and all past transactions linked to it are still visible. Delete. All transactions associated with the account are permanently removed. For example, you have an account named Office Rent, which has been used for recording rental payments over the past two years. If you deprecate it, past rent payments will still be available in reports, but new transactions cannot be recorded. If you delete it, all rental transactions disappear, which can cause problems when reviewing financial records. Best practice is deprecate the account to maintain historical accuracy. Visibility in reports. Deprecate. The account remains in financial statements, such as the balance sheet and profit and loss report. Delete. The account and its transactions are removed from all reports. For example, your company previously used bank account ABC Bank for transactions, but recently switched to another bank. If you deprecate the account, past transactions will still show in financial reports, helping auditors track older payments. If you delete it, financial statements will no longer show these transactions, which could create confusion. 
Best practice is deprecate if the account was ever used in transactions. Future use. Deprecate. The account remains in the system, but cannot be selected for new transactions. Delete. The account is completely removed and cannot be restored. For example, you mistakenly created two accounts. Advertising expenses, used for transactions. Marketing costs, duplicate, no transactions. You should deprecate advertising expenses if it's no longer relevant, ensuring old transactions remain visible. You can delete marketing costs since it was never used. Best practice is deprecate to prevent future use while keeping past data intact. Recommended in production? Deprecate. Yes, because it ensures data consistency and prevents accidental data loss. Delete. No, unless the account is completely unused. For example, a company initially used the account freelancer payments to track contractor expenses. Later, they started using contractor expenses instead. If they deprecate freelancer payments, they still retain the past expense records while preventing new use. If they delete it, past payments disappear, causing inconsistencies in records. Best practice is always deprecate in a production environment instead of deleting. Best practice for managing your chart of accounts. To maintain a well-organized chart of accounts, follow these best practices. Deprecate accounts that are no longer in use, but have past transactions. Delete only those that were created by mistake and are not linked to any transactions. Regularly review your accounts and filter out deprecated ones to keep the list clean. Use account groups to structure and categorize your accounts properly. Conclusion. Understanding whether to delete or deprecate an account in Odoo can save you from potential financial discrepancies. Always remember, deprecate if the account has been used in transactions. Delete only if the account is empty and was created in error. I hope you all have a clear understanding of the concepts covered in this video. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to leave a comment below. For more support, please subscribe, share, and like the video. And don't forget to click the bell icon to stay updated on my latest releases.